I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. One more opportunity in the presence of God. Let us thank God as believers. Concentrate this month for giving thanks and searching our life. So Word of God will help us to search our hearts where we are standing, how we are walking. That is what we are doing in these days. We thank you for the grace of God. God given upon our life to stand to continue. We were listening last two Sundays from the Word of God. We all, whether we are knowing or unknowingly, we are reaching to the end, reaching to the destination. That was I mentioned on the Philippians chapter 4, words 8 and 9. I am going to continue that last week and the previous week we are sharing from that word of God. If you want to reach the end, we have a beginning and a continuation. The beginning we saw in Philippians chapter 1, in Christ Jesus, we begin in Christ Jesus, Christian life, believer's life, God's children, begins the life with Christ. I ask a question to ask ourselves whether we are walking with Christ. We begin and we are continuing that. So as Paul in Philippians, I don't have time to again look into the word, read the word, I just touch and go. Paul is telling, I start a beginning with in Christ. So, Christ came to my heart. That is the word of God. I carry the word of God. Then second thing, because I carry the word of God, the burden of people, that is a great thing we can see in Christ, uh, in Paul. He carried the word of God and he had a burden about the people. He's telling, I carry people in my heart. What happened as he start, he start to preach the gospel. That, that is what that third word says in Philippians chapter one, third, fourth words <coughs> we saw on the last weeks. I start to begin to preach the gospel. That is what the one of the starting we can see in Christ's life. Christ, when you go to the Acts of Apostles, eight and nine chapter, we have, whether there we can see his beginning after his conversion. He start to testify Christ. Then, not only he start with uh, preaching the word of God, he start with the love, love of God, love of God. And 
the 10th and 11th word says i start doing the righteousness of god the fruits of righteousness start to produce in my life this is what we as a children of god we need that is what we lose in the church we start but we cannot continue that is what last friday we saw we have to continue that when you start paul in first corinthians chapter 1 verse 30 says but of him you are in christ jesus who become for us wisdom from god and righteousness and sanctification and redemption look at that if we are in christ we have wisdom righteousness redemption sanctification we have that we start with that we have to carry last friday i was mentioning to carry that christian life we want to take it to the end we need to carry something one thing i told you in philippians chapter 4 verse 1 such pastness that is the one it is mentioned in other language we can see that is nothing else stability we need stability why we need stability i told you christians as they start with christ their life there is a enemy there is constantly the believer is on war something coming against them three most important thing i i told you last week that is one is the world world is against i told you vanity fair see all our attractions from the world distracting the child of god to st- go straight to the destiny last day i was reading the bible i find one man who was with uh, uh, paul in the prison philemon i will read that word the you can understand what is. philemon chapter 23 and 24 philemon there is a man uh, paul is uh, greeting to philemon is mentioning about five people five people there eh a pop of us who follow believer in christ jesus greets you as do mark aristocrus aristocrus damas luke these are the five people who are with with paul in prison when paul write wrote this letter to the philemon is telling these five people with him all right now you come to the second uh, timothy chapter 4 verse 9 Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 9 be diligent to come to me quickly he is writing to Timothy for them as forsaken me having loved the present world did you notice that underline that underline that 
Meditate. These are the things you have to learn more. The gift of God is given to the people. God's mercy he give. We have to uh, spend time, give important value for this type of things. Look at that man who was with Paul in the prison. You notice that word there. He loved the world and even to Thessalonica. You don't, this is a pressure. But a stable man. Look at Job. Look at Job. Even he kills me. I will wait for him. I'm stable. I will not change. A stable man. Without stability, you cannot walk with God. You cannot walk with God. God looking to that. Yes, world, flesh, and the devil. Hallelujah. If you are not stability, you will be moving here and there, not stand firm. When, uh, when Peter writes a letter, epistles, you can find there is warning for the false prophet who are false. It's a false prophet who are diverted to the worldly things who People who are not stable, people who cannot stand, that is why he is warning. Peter is warning. Wrong teachers. Now is the time, the peak time in the history. Word of God is using the wrong way, wrong attitude, wrong motive. Now we will be careful. What you are hearing, it is a profitable comparing to the coming of Lord Jesus Christ. To reaching to the destiny. It is profitable to you, the message you are hearing. The prophecy you are hearing. The encouragement you are getting. Always think, church, is it is profitable to you to reach the destiny which God has given to us? Diverting from there. What is the failure of the Israelites? They are looking for miracle. They are looking for their self-satisfaction. When they lose that, they start murmuring. That is why Paul himself is writing on the uh, Corinthians 10th chapter comes, warning us, you be careful what happened to that people. They all started a life. They all gone through the hallelujah. Baptism, that is what uh, Paul is telling. They all gone to the Red Sea. They all experienced, they all saw the miracles of God. What they did is rejecting God, rejecting Christ. When we are not stable to the word of God, we are rejecting Christ. 
we have accepted jesus christ as a personal savior and lord and we are not aiming what destination he has shown to you and what call he has come to your life you are not looking on to that you are looking on to something else that is why paul is writing in timothy he is telling people are very 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 fond of hearing their own interest which Uh, give them uh, pleasing in her eyes here brothers and sisters we are the one who are continuing we are continuing so we need a stable life stable life that is what i told you hallelujah somehow hallelujah for that god all the miracles in the desert all the wonders in the desert god is not showing is something great to the people god is not showing you satisfy and you enjoy the life in the desert no all because of what i promised you you receive it the land i am going to give you the place i am going to alia call you reach there for that hallelujah hallelujah message you hear today engagement you get today the blessing you get today very it is physical material or hallelujah phys- uh, spiritual if that is profitable to attain the god hallelujah nothing else not heaven more than heaven christ himself hallelujah these are greater things this is a bible teach god see here what we read now first Corinthian chapter 1 verse 3 he jesus christ is of wisdom and the righteousness and the sanctification and the redemption oh what what else you need one says wisdom comes in your problem in your distraction in your enemy hallelujah challenges and its wisdom comes in your life you are going forward you are carrying at any cost hallelujah with christ to the destination hallelujah when i want to tell you for the christian life of you continue stability is required the second thing paul is mentioning on chapter 4 verse 2 philippians chapter 4 verse 2 there one thing is uh, telling we carry not only the stability but something else is continuing some more things one is i implore you dear and i implore cynthia to be of the same mind of the lord same mind of the lord that is we go another translation unity harmony if you want to continue christian life how lord want do you to continue me to continue the second thing we need is unity in our life if you don't have unity with your life you cannot continue in life if you, you don't have a unity with your children the harmony in the home what is harmony what is harmony huh hallelujah pastor benny can explain that 
It was music ministry, hallelujah. Yeah? We always use their harmonies. Song, different sound. Is it correct, Pastor? Different sound, bass, tenor, oh, I don't know. <laughs> not a musician, not a singer, yeah. See, yeah, yeah, this different type of sound. When we listen, how sweet it is. We say, that is sweet music. This is harmony. Harmony. Our God, one of the greatest things is the diversity. Diversity is a gift of God. Hallelujah. That is what we are seeing in the Church of Philadelphia. Hallelujah. Proclaim that. Keep it that. How? In harmony. In unity. How we mean in that? Yes. Even we pastors have different opinion. Different taste. Reverend way of doing things. Somebody said like this. If you share the things, share things what we believe, it may be a different opinion. If you share the uh, 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 the person, we will not be different opinion. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Things, what we are doing, we will be different opinion. What? For whom we are doing, that is the important thing. There comes a unity. That is Christ himself, no one else. He is a head. So we, we all have a common head. That is the one, the Church of Philadelphia is moving forward. Continuing to the destination. We have common head. That is what Paul says where it is in Colossians chapter 1. 1 18. 1 18. And he is the head of the body, the church is the head. There is no Two head for the church of God. Only one head. Common head. We all have one head. Body. One body and one head. Hallelujah. You all know. We are connected to that head. We are receiving from that. So there comes a harmony. There comes a unity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you lift up your hands and say hallelujah to the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want, to, we want to continue as we are going to enter a new year. We are continuing to the destiny with not only the, uh, uh, not only the uh, stability, but with unity. That is with one head. Hallelujah. Bible says, we all are forgiven people who is here Without forgiven. Jesus has forgiven. Who is here in the Christians who claim Christ? Without her. Uh, first Corinthians chapter 15 verse 3. That is a fundamental theology. Hallelujah. We find in the, in the Bible. Hallelujah. First, uh, first Peter chapter 15 verse 3. For I uh, delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received, that Christ died for our sin, according to the scriptures, that he was buried, and that was he rose again the third day, according to his the scripture. This is a basic, basic, fundamental theology. That is common. 
that is common anybody is not believing that anybody is out of hell here forgiven people we all are forgiven this brings to that unity we are the children of god we have forgiven people that is why we are saints god children beloved one hallelujah hallelujah we keep this unity thank you lord from there comes everything sharing helping hallelujah praying giving everything comes from there hallelujah common lord common hallelujah what common theory common hallelujah faith common belief we have hallelujah harmony comes hallelujah praise god hallelujah common lord only one lord only one lord eh before it was written here jesus is lord to all of us all of us jesus is lord common lord not only common heart we have a common faith common belief common lord not only that common hallelujah experience in our life and common destination hallelujah common goal hallelujah that is what we read in hallelujah matthew chapter 28 last three words when we read hallelujah you all know that word hallelujah last words we read in matthew chapter 28 18 1920 and jesus came and spoke to them saying all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth we are we are sharing this authority we are sharing hallelujah go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit teach the, teaching them to observe all things that i have commanded you and to go with you always even to the end of the age this is our goal to preach the gospel to tell them to all there is a destination waiting for you hallelujah this is what we preach we share hallelujah Yes, hallelujah, our experience, hallelujah, the joy. We keep stability in our life to ask you near to the end. We keep unity in our life as we near to the end, hallelujah. Unity in our life. If you notice here, what is hindering to the unity paul is mentioned there we read that second word there is two sisters name is mentioned paul is telling that if you know about that about that sisters how they were on the third word third of philippians chapter 4 verse 3 are you also two companion help these women who labored with me in gospel that one word is more than enough to know the them who labored they are not a just believer we we used to tell yeah uh, we saw somebody who is with us we tell them oh he is our he is coming to our fellowship he is coming to our no 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 not like that paul is not telling these two ladies sisters they are coming to their fellowship they are labored they 
their clever, they are hard workers, they are good. This is the message for the church. Don't leave it. Don't leave it. It's the important part. You are a hard worker. You are spending time for the ministry, God's work. You are giving. As Paul said, you are a good laborer in the vineyard. But Paul is encouraging them. You be in the same mind. Christ's mind. Let Christ be rule in your mind. See, this created a problem in that church. This from these two sisters. The small things will take away the unity, the harmony from the homes. One word from the husband or wife. That night, that dinner spoiled. Small, small things. How we can control that? Don't leave it. Be in one mind. This is one of the another gift God has given to us. We cannot think two things at a time. We cannot. Nobody can. One thing. Paul once uh, in uh, Corinthians, somewhere it is written, yeah, I don't want to know anything else, only Christ. Is in my mind. Is in my mind. See, he's telling to be the same mind in the Lord. Sister, if you can start to think Christ, you can solve this problem. The other sister also. If you start to think about Christ's crucifixion in our life, and we both are redeemed by the blood of Jesus, we are nothing. Because of the grace of God, we are here. Our arguments, our this will be run away. Run away. In this case, Paul is mentioning in the third, maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes, somebody's help is required. That is what it is mentioned in the third verse. And aren't you also true companion? Yoke bearers, that's some other translation, who was really carrying the Lord with me. We all are that group. If something come in my life, you are the one to uphold, to come and tell if I do wrong and the way God give wisdom to talk to me and come out of that problem for the unity of the church. Today, as we uh, nearing to the end of 2021, before we get into that pasting day, I urge you, the other word I use you, let us, I beg you, let us have that one mind. Let us have that one mind. And if anybody, see, it is letting 
I urge you also, true companion, help this woman who labored with me. We cannot send them out. We cannot leave them. We cannot say they are not good. They are labored with me. We all together, we all together who are listening on Zoom, platform and YouTube. We all together taking God's gospel, the ministry, the church forward. Especially I telling you who are in the church of Philadelphia. We together in unity we will go forward on 2022. With one way, with one mind. And if somebody, somebody in the church, knowingly or unknowingly, going in the wrong direction, according to this word, If you are with us, look at that word. I urge you. That is the word we use. This is again not uh, using try or just a, have a visit. No, work has to done it. You are going there and sharing and praying and hallelujah, uh, encouraging must we bring a result to the growth of the church, unity of the church, going forward, the church. If it is not happening, so our visit to the, our, 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 our church members, our talk, to, uh, talk with our friends, if it is helping, if it is profitable at false word, this is profitable. Paul in his experience is writing. Look at Philemon, the letter to Philemon. It's an encouraging letter. Philemon has a problem with Onosimos. Philemon has a problem with Onosimos. He cannot go and meet him, pray with him. So he write that letter in the prison. What he is mentioning on that letter is there also Paul is using the same word. You can see there Philemon, the book of Philemon chapter verse 10. It is good to learn that. The Philemon is a good message. It is Kimi. Uh, we will not, sometimes we will not notice that. Hallelujah. Look at the 10th words. I appeal to you for my son, my son, Onosmos, whom I have begotten while in my chain. In the prison he met and he become a spiritual son to Paul. So he's writing this letter. Who once was unprofitable to you, but now is profitable to you and to me. Hallelujah. Look at that word. Once, yes, he fight with you. He run away from you. He hallelujah, all harm to you. I know, but now, we, as a children of God, now, we, in Christ Jesus, we are profitable to the church. We are profitable to the kingdom of God. We are profitable to the hallelujah, hallelujah, saints of God. Hallelujah. We are profitable. Hallelujah. How I many you can, hallelujah, say from your heart, I am profitable. 
the church. If anything, any change, this is one of the day God has set to convince and correct and take a decision. Paul is encouraging Philemon with a letter. He cannot go there. He's writing a letter. The 16th verse is linked. He no more as a slave in that time. When Osimos was working as a slave in Philemon's house. He no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but how much more to you, both in flesh and in the Lord. See, hallelujah. So one of the truth, it is coming here. Not only we are speaking about the spiritual things, in the flesh, we will help each other. Hallelujah. See, you look at the 17th, uh, 18th verse. But if he was wrong to you or owes anything, put that on my account. Oh. If you had, <laughs> I was thinking, if we have a, this spirit, <laughs> then church will, <laughs> will be in. <laughs> Which position we don't know. If he wronged, don't leave that reading and leave. If he wronged, I am in that position. You can blame me. He's taking, Paul is taking that. He's not, not only talking about something, some money or something he had to pay, no. The 19th verse is telling, I will repay you. I will pay you. I will pay you. I like was going, where I am, where I am. We cannot let all spirit talk to us to maintain the unity, that harmony. Let us, God, give you the grace more in each one's life as we go forward. Look into your family life. Looking into your relation with your father and mother, anywhere, children, parents, I testify here about me. There may be, it can be, but God is grace. God is full of grace. It is available today. It is available today. It is available now. Now. God knows our hearts. God knows our hearts. Hallelujah. 21 words. Having confidence in your obedience, I write you knowing that you will do even more than I say, oh, what a confidence with Philemon relationship. That all brings the relationship. I am closing here. Time is over. One thing I told you, I want to continue if God willing. As a Christian, we start in Christ Jesus. We are to have a button. is hand over to the athletes. We receive some baton and we are carrying, we are carrying. That includes stability and unity. Let us 
let us carry when God sees at the end he can testify he carry in Christian life a Christian stability and harmony stability and harmony may the God help you with this word hallelujah this brings deliverance brother sisters your hard desire and decision brings deliverance healing 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 hallelujah this is something coming to your system to remove the block the word of god is coming to our spiritual system to take away the block and the flow is correct then the things are getting right father we thank you do it in your mercy and kindness we know we know you are unworthy but in your grace in your grace let the children receive it and let us receive it let the thirst be quenched in jesus name Amen, amen, Pastor. Can we all rise up in the presence of God? As we heard the message this morning, a Christian life and a walk with in the Lord, I just wanted to just read a scripture in conclusion to the message that we heard this morning. One Peter chapter three, verses eight to twelve, and it goes on like this. I'm reading from the NIV version. Finally, all of you, be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, be compassionate and humble. Do not repay. insult with insult on the contrary repay evil with blessing because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing for who but her would love life and see good things must keep their tongue from evil and their lips from deceitful speech they must turn from evil and do good they must seek peace and pursue it for the eyes of the lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayer but the faith of the lord is against those who do evil let's conclude the service as we have listened to the word of god god expects us to be perfect in our christian life and what the scriptures we have read this morning and the message that we have heard as we are coming to the close of this year let us re examine our lives where will be
just read it and move on. And as Apostle Peter has written the scripture, any evil thoughts, anything that is hindering our spiritual walk with the Heavenly Father, let us set aside everything that is not pleasing in the sight of God so that we can move forward with Him. world we are living but still our focus should be on eternity. Father we thank and we praise you that we were able to come this morning and congregate in this wonderful worship place. And Father there are many people who are watching us through the Zoom and the YouTube. Continue to be with every one of us Lord. And as we depart Father, we pray that your presence will go with us, Lord. You are a God who is abiding in us. And Lord, all through the coming week, we pray that you will guard us, you will provide for us, you will uplift us, you will, you will lead us through your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for all your provisions in our life. Thank you, Lord, for all the protection that we have in our life. And we thank and we praise you. In Jesus. Your heart, all your soul, all your mind. 